Hi, it's Jan from Puddlecraft, and you can catch me over on Facebook, or you can leave me a message in the box below and I'll get straight back to you. I'm a stamping up demonstrator, and today I thought I'd share with you why I've been so quiet the past few weeks. I've been busy beavering away in the craft room making my daughter's thank you cards for the end of term. She's a teacher of year one children and I generally I do her Christmas cards and her thank you cards for the end of July. So the end of July is looming and I suddenly thought I better get on with it. Now the children love hearing about her horse that she owns and where she lives is a remote part of the country and where the horse actually is stabled there's a few pigs and cows and what have you and they love hearing about all the animals so I picked the peekaboo farm which I thought was very apt unfortunately I haven't got one here to show you because I've given I've given all 30 of them away but it won't take as long I promise to knock one up so bear with me so for this all you're going to need is a piece of basic grey which was a4, cut down the middle so it's turned out at five and seven eighths by eight and a quarter and scored in half. We're just going to fold that in half. A piece of basic white, which is going to go onto the front, which is going to be five and a half by three and three quarters. Another piece of basic grey which is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths this is going to layer onto here and then you want a piece of basic white for the front for the middle sorry which is five and three eighths by three and five eighths so what you're going to do is using the picture this dies and I have certainly got my money's worth out of this die this time is you're going to pop this through your big shot which you're going to end up with this then after you've got that you're then going to pop it into the brick and mortar 3d now what I've done is I've taken the front of it and I've put it on the front of it, I've lined it up with the line, closed it down, used the sandwich for your big shot, whichever sandwich it is, ran it through, ended up with this, and then what you want to do to make it easier determine which is your back that's my back so I want to just so what I've done is I've literally sorry, sorry I'm I'm not used to doing these now I can, I'm sure I could do these in my sleep if you make sure that's in the middle and then turn it round then if you just take a pencil and what I've done is I've literally marked out just put three lines where the circle should be so that gives me a rough idea you don't need to know where the little circle should be unless of course you want to stamp in the little circles because there are miss you hello there life is better with you and sending hugs so you could actually stamp but I'm not stamping in those so I don't need to worry about little circles for the minute and then with some memento ink, if I choose to say the horse, the horse fits in here and the horse will fit in there. And then once you've done say, three animals of your choosing, you can colour them all in as if by magic. I've done that as well. For the horse, I've used dark smoky slate and base light basic black. For the pig, I've used dark crumb cake. And I've literally, for, for the pig, I've just given him a few splodges and a light flighty flamingo 
nose. Oh, and I haven't finished colouring in my cow. Um, and for the cow, I'm going to choose light, soft suede, which is missing. Where did it go? Okay, we'll have dark crumb cake. Where my light soft suede's gone, I'll have. Have a dark crumb cake cow. And then for the horns, I'll have dark soft suede. There we go. That looks a bit better. So that's all ready. So we can stick that on the front I'm using a tombow. And then I'm going to pop mine up with dimensionals. It fits in like that. So I'm just going to pop in three along the top. Two down the sides. three along there. I'll take these off. Just need to pop them on. Like that. Right. For the circles, what I've done is I've taken the pattern party um, designer series paper, which is the hostess gift. If you've got a three quarters of an inch circle then that's what I've done is I've punched out a three quarters of an inch circle I put it onto these spare circles that come out of here if you have spare circles that come out of there and then I'm just going to pop them into the gap I thought that this 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 DSP reminded me of animals. And for the feet, is all you need is a piece of a strip of whisper white, piece of scrap paper, and we've used the pig we've used the horse and the pig and then you just literally take the feet and you stamp out the feet which will give you you stamp out the three animals with the feet you cut them out which I've done as well Now, depending on where you put your animals, this is a little tip for you. Sometimes they're higher up than others. Mine are quite low down here, but my other ones, sometimes they were quite high up. So the tip I found is you actually, you don't put glue on your hoofs. They're not feet, are they? They're hoofs, they're animals. So you don't put glue on your hoofs. You put glue on your card. 
So if you put glue on your card, I guarantee your hoofs are going to stay there. And you do need tweezers for this. This is quite awkward. And you just pop the feet on. And this glue, remember, will dry clear. And that is your finished car. So, of course, the inside, because I didn't want to stop there. So, for the inside, what I thought I'd do, bringing in my piece of scrap paper, is we haven't had this animal. So, I thought I'd have him peekabooing up there. And then because they're all obsessed with the horse, I'll have the horse peek down there. And our horse is actually black. I say ours, it's actually my daughter's. My daughter's horse is actually black. is a ram somebody correct me please if i'm wrong because i'm not quite sure i was going to do that light but never mind we've got we've got them dark now One of the cards I actually did this in light crumb cake and dark crumb cake, but I picked up the wrong one. I'm sure the recipient won't look at the colours and think, oh, that's completely wrong. And then we'll just pop him on. So he's peekabooing. And that's your card. No, as I say, that's, that's no my thirty-first one. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.